Hey guys, it's bright and early. I just pulled up to the lake here. I will commonly drive down to this lake bright and early in the morning just to see if I can get a cool view on some fish. Just because if you go down by the dock, you can see some cool fish once in a while. Today's video is actually on hole in the head and it's actually kind of a rescue story dealing with an Oscar fish that was battling hole in the head. Let's see if I can get a, God, look at this view. It's like 5.30 in the morning right now. I just couldn't sleep any longer. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. All right, let's see if we can see some fish. It doesn't help that I was talking on my way down. The water's pretty cloudy right now. Let's switch the cam here. There's just something cool about sneaking down to a dock in the lake to see if you can see some fish. I just, I probably do this a couple times a week and the water in this lake is not very clear right now but i've still snuck up on some really cool bass and even a northern in this specific spot so it is kind of midsummer so the lake's kind of murky but maybe we'll have better luck next time all right guys let's jump into this super cool story it all starts with a girl named carrie she happens to be a local fish keeper to me here in minnesota she comes across this post of a oscar fish that has super super bad hole in the head as you can see his name is Gollum. so she sees the post for the surrendered oscar fish and she reaches out to the person and says hey man did you know your oscar fish has really bad hole in the head and like what's going on and he says yeah yeah i know um the person before me owned the fish and they only fed him goldfish feeders and he only will eat tetra food sticks for me and it just i can't afford to give him medication and carrie having her huge heart she had never even owned an oscar fish she says you know what i have to get this oscar fish she drives two hours to get this fish just to treat it that's a pretty ballsy move considering she's never even owned an Oscar fish. Here's her first post in Oscar Fish Keepers. I can still remember it to this day. She says, here's my four-year-old Oscar fish. I'm not going to pretend to know everything about them, but I brought this Oscar fish in and I immediately started him on medications like aquarium salt, stress coat, Metroplex, Conoplex. And um, he, she essentially got tons of great feedback because this fish is obviously in really bad condition. People are saying, awesome job, you're the best, you're doing a great job. And guys, hole in the head is a serious problem that Oscar fish and a lot of cichlids deal with. And I would say the number one cause of hole in the head is diet. Number one should be diet. Number two should be water parameters. And the first thing she was doing was 50% water changes every day. That's pretty extreme. And I also find that a lot of people get a lot of people give their fish hole in the head by feeding them live feeders like goldfish like in this instance the previous owner was doing that and that was probably the cause mixed with poor water parameters so yeah this is a pretty cool story i mean she drove two hours to get a fish she had never even owned an oscar fish before she did the research she treated the fish properly and now the fish is going to have a bright future in her possession the three main causes of hole in the head that we see occur in Oscar fish is number one, bad diet, like feeder fish, like goldfish, like in this instance. Number two, your water parameters are bad. Your nitrates are high, your ammonia is high, something is out of whack, and the fish is just under stress. And number three, some, some other sickness like uh, gill flukes or just something else that is putting stress on the fish. All right, guys, let me know if you've ever dealt with hole in the head. Did you lose the fish? Did you treat the fish? What, what?